So uh, it's far enough into Christmas that we can go ahead and spoil this. Uh, all of you sinners still got presents. It, 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 it's, it has nothing to do with whether you are on a naughty list or a nice list. All of you sinners still got presents because here's the thing about presents. They don't actually come to people who earn them. They come f to people who are loved. If you are loved, you, you, you get gifts. Not if you earn things. That's not a gift. That's that's pay. When we talk about Christmas gifts, I don't know why we threaten our children because we know full well we're going to get them the stuff anyway. You can maybe sort of go out on a limb and like set a fake box on fire to watch your children cry if you're really that kind of parent. Like not me. I, not me. Um, but really, at the end of the day, what we teach when we talk about Christmas to our, our kids might actually need to be something more along the lines of grace and less along the lines of works. You get a gift because you are loved. You get salvation because you are loved, not because you are on the nice list, not because you earn it. God comes to earth. God saves sinners because he loves us. We give gifts in recognition of the same. We are willing to set aside every last thing that has gone wrong, every last sin, and say simply, I love you. Merry Christmas. Here's some socks. <laughs> it's a token of the great gift that is Christ who comes to earth to save all of us sinners. If we only want to do this according to the naughty list and the nice list, this is even more than just sort of picking a few arbitrary weeks a year to actually give to charity and to actually try and be nice to each other. But it's a recognition that of all the times that we have not, God still became man to save us sinners. Christ was born not for a one-month nostalgia fest, but for the rest of the year, for going into January when it's cold and February when it's cold and March when it, it's just cold in Iowa, you guys. But we have a gift that is given because our Lord loves us. Christmas is about love, for God so loved the world, not that they were on the nice list, but again, that uh, he saved us sinners. So when we actually sit down with Christmas, when we actually reflect upon the stuff that we got, when we reflect upon how we're going to talk about this thing going forward, thanks be to God that, well, you love people and so you give them gifts. Thanks be to God that you are loved and so you are given the gift of salvation. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.